I have my photos, albums, with collections, trips, post text media, and activities. That's it. Okay? So that's how you're gonna customize or organize your photos app. Okay? I don't recommend you having all of them unless you need all of them. Okay? Now another service so you can see everything that's available in the photos app. So there are things that are new here, for example, recent days. So now, I hope we'll show you the photos and videos that you took, but specific things. So what are the photos you took yesterday, for example? This one says today, or see August 1, August 2, two separate folders, right? So it just gives you uh, specific photos on a specific day. Okay? Then you have people and pets. People and pets already existed long time ago. But not a lot of people know how to use it. So people and pets, I'm going to select it, okay? You're going to find photos of uh, of people that you have in your photos app, right? Then you will find some of the photos do not have a name. Okay, I'm talking about your own phone. So have a look at it and look at people's and pets. So for example, you want to rename someone. So for example, Facebook. You can just uh, add people. Let's add people. There you go. We have someone here. Uh, no, yeah. Let's add them. Okay. So if you're looking for a specific photo of a specific person, for example, Layla, I'll just select her and it's going to show me all the photos that I have with her face. Okay? And this includes pets. Right. So for example, Rex the dog. I'm going to see all photos that includes this face. Alright. Now, in cases that you don't have the person that you want to see here, what you're going to do is look for that person. Okay. Let me look for a person here. Um, okay. So once you have a photo, you're going to see I at the bottom. I is for info. Okay. I'm going to select I. Okay, so you see add a caption. Above add a caption, you see the circle with her face. You select the circle and you name her. If, it, if she's not in the people's entrance. So I'm going to select the circle. See, so it's going to show me edit name, photos. I can link my contact. I can link the contact to the person as well. Okay, so every time she calls me, uh, I know that it's her, first of all, without reading. And I can see all photos all at once. Right? So that's how uh, people's intents work. So if ever she doesn't have a name, or the person doesn't have a name, you can just select I, and then name that person. Right? So that's people's intents. Okay, let's continue. Pin connections. So in the new iOS 18, people have been looking for favorites. Where are my favorites? It's inside pin collections. Okay, you will not find favorites in albums. It's going to be inside pin. And you can modify your pin collection. So if you modify it, and select that, you can take out stuff that you don't need. Okay, and you can add the ones that you need. For example, selfies. You want to see your selfies? Why not? There you go. Put it inside favorites. And I'll always have a look at that. Okay? So you'll only find favorites in pin collections. Now memories, this is already there. And if you have Apple Intelligence, you can now describe a memory. Okay? With Apple Intelligence. So for example, I hope this one works here, but it's a demo. Uh, each day. Okay? I'm going to enter. Again, this is with Apple Intelligence. So it's going to collect all the photos that you have that are in the niche. Okay. I wasn't specific with the day, so it's took all the years. <laughs> the vision is in all the years. And it's gonna create that memory or slideshow. Okay, so see all photos where there is a niche. Okay, so that's how Apple uh, intelligence work with memory. Alright? Then you have something new, tricks. Okay, so when you travel outside UAE, okay, if you live here, for example, you went to Greece, and then you went back to UAE, 
what you usually do, what you, I usually do is I collect all the photos that I took in Greece and put it in a folder, please. Now it's automatic. Once you get back to UAE, you're going to find a folder that says Greece. You don't need to do it manually anymore. Okay? So that's what Trips is for. I love that one. You have featured photos. And media types. So a lot of people underestimate media types and utilities, actually. So media types, I uh, said this in my last tips. This is the type of photo or video that you took. It's easier to find them, okay? And the utilities, I encourage you to look at your own utilities. So this, is, this doesn't skip just this one, it's a demo phone. But if you take photos of receipts, you will find it here, receipts. And all oh, receipts photos will be there. Um, what else? Receipts, uh, illustrations, barcodes. So literally, it's all categorized. It's all under utilities. Okay? And if you have duplicates, so if you want to save some space, you feel like you have a lot of photos that are the same because of WhatsApp and all the other applications, you will find duplicates. Okay? So utilities, check that, and then you can merge your two duplicates. So instead of having two or three or five, you can have only one copy of that. Okay. So that is utilities. Then albums, we know what albums are. Again, you're not going to find your favorites here. It's uh, under pin, okay? Shared albums is when you share an album to a family member or a friend, okay? Because you can do that. The wallpaper suggestions, just uh, as what it says, wallpaper suggestions. Okay, now I'm going to move to search. So now there's no search tab. Underneath, you're going to find the blue thingy there with a magnifying glass. So if I search, how do you search photos in your photo, photos app? So as you can see there, it says cat, food, dog. Okay, let's say I'm looking for a plant. Plant. So these are all photos with plants. Okay. My, my bonus tip for you here is if I took a photo of this, all right, and I want to know what species or what type of plant this is. Remember, this is where I was. Now, it's a leaf with a star. So if you see that with the star, it means it has more information. So if I select the star, now look at this. Look up plant. I'm going to select plant. Let me select plant. And this is what it's going to show me. The type of plant. Yeah. It's going to tell me it's either daisy or marigold. And from, um, what do you call this? From Google, it's also going to show me all uh, other photos of that type of flower. So this, uh, this is called visual look up. By the way, it's called visual lookup, and you can do it with plants, animals, uh, symbols of the, the our dashboard, and the laundry symbols under your shirt. You can do that. It's going to show you and tell you what that is. Okay? And speaking of visual lookup, you also have that in Apple Intelligence. If you have this control camera here, if you press and hold, I can just press and hold. If I press and hold, okay, let's say I'm going to take a photo of my watch. It, it says what it sees, okay, and I can search. It's uh, press and hold, okay, and it's going to show me the photos and links of what I took a photo of. So if you like a clothing, for example, where did you buy that? You should do that, okay? So if you have the camera control, press and hold and take a photo, it's going to show you which websites. It's pretty cool. 